Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing with you guys what's new in iOS 14, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so iOS 14 came out uh, a couple days ago actually, and I immediately updated. I have to say, I'm very impressed with it so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording real quick. So I can show you guys just what is new. So the first thing is the widgets home screen. So we're looking at this right now on my phone and I have to say this looks really sleek and crisp. Definitely an update over the previous iOS 13 version. I love it. I mean, honestly, it's, I love the fact that you have this big old battery meter right here that you can see exactly what your battery percentage is. So that's great. Okay, so the next thing is the Translate app. This is a new app that appears on your home screen. So if you're talking with someone, apparently you can record them and it'll translate back to you. Like, so I'm gonna try Spanish. Hola bonita. Hi cutie. There's that. So that's how it works. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple, but really effective and really cool. So that can be a useful tool as well. Okay, so the next thing is the app library. This is really cool. I love it. And I really honestly think that the apps are sorted by your most used, which would make sense in my book because I use Instagram, Facebook, GroupMe the most out of the social apps, YouTube Studio, Lightroom, and Cooler for creativity, productivity and finance, the Duo mobile two-factor authentication app for UF, my mail because I get all my mail through there and then Slack, YouTube Studio, our YouTube tracker, Safari, and Social Blade for utilities. There's a lot of things that I think are very useful about this and what's really nice, I love the way this looks, if you click on like the smaller apps that are not the most used, it brings up all your apps and like blurs the background. It's like so aesthetically pleasing. I mean, that's incredible. So in messages, you can pin important conversation. So you'll see here I have my roommate, my sister, one organization I, that I'm on the executive board for, the other organization that I'm on the executive board for, and my best friend from college, one of my best friends from college. All pinned at the top for easy access. The next thing I wanna show you guys is Siri because she looks entirely different. Whole vibe for 2020, entirely new, kind of looks a little bit like A-L-E-X-A. -E not, not gonna say the word because I don't want to trigger her, but this is what she looks like. It's really cool. Hey Siri. And then it says, curious about what I can do. Just ask what you can do or say help. Help. Siri's here to help. Get to know Siri at Apple.com. Siri, set a remote. Oh, see, I don't have a Hey Siri set up because I never set it up on this phone. I don't know why, but it's super useful. And I love the new look. It just looks so much sleeker and kind of reminds me of A-L-E-X-A. And then finally, the last thing that's really cool is notes. So you can actually pin the notes that you use the most. Like for example, um, I have one that's like YouTube video ideas master list. I have that one pinned. I have blog ideas and my packing list that I use for college because at one point I just had to write one and use it. So that's exactly what I use it for. I don't know, this is really cool. I'm really happy with iOS 14. I can't complain, honestly. Best update I think to date for sure. And if you guys want to see a what's on my iPhone video, stay tuned because I wasn't going to film one just because I don't have that many interesting things on my iPhone, like to be honest, but I don't know. I just want to share how I organize my apps because what I do is so entirely different from everyone I know because I don't even use app folders. I literally just have all the apps out in the open ready to go because when I go searching for something, I will literally just search alphabetically. <laughs> That's just the way my mind works. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this quick and easy iOS 14 video. If you download iOS 14 and you like it, comment down below and comment your favorite feature. I'm so excited to be bringing a little bit more tech into my channel. So this video is right up my alley. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.